please support me by subscribing to my channel. Welcome to 5 Things Not To Do To Babies Number 1. Don't Ignore Them Under natural birth conditions, newborns are ready to communicate with mother, father, and others. Of course, they cannot talk but they can grunt and move their arms, the left arm is typically self-referential and the right arm focused on the partner. Some mothers communicate with the baby in the womb through singing, reading, talking, or even thumping. In indigenous cultures, the mother is responsible for shaping the spirit of the child with communications like these to the baby before and after birth, even creating a unique song for that child. Number 2. Don't let them cry. Imagine being in pain and asking for help and being ignored. How does that make you feel about yourself, bad, and about your family, angry? It's so much worse for a baby because he is in the midst of rapidly growing brain systems that are learning their dance patterns for social living and for physiological functioning, health. For a baby, being left to cry is like torture. Why do I think so? Because technically, physiologically, and maturationally babies should still be in the womb until 18 months of age. So if babies regularly get distressed, their bodies are being trained to be anxious and distrustful of themselves and of others. Number 3. Leave them alone, don't. Solitary confinement is one of the worst things you can do to a human being and eventually leads to psychosis. Babies are built to be physically connected to caregivers. They do not understand why they are alone. Babies internalize a sense of wrongness and badness that will color their lives. Imagine being suddenly left alone in a strange land where you cannot move or take care of yourself. It would be terrifying, even if you understood what was going on. Why do this to a child? Number 4. Not hold them whenever possible, please hold them. Babies are meant to be held. This should start immediately. First impressions of you and the world are fundamental. Can they relax into being? Learning a deep relaxation and sense of peace is what they will carry forward into life. If they don't have a regular experience of relaxing into loving arms, they may never learn to relax and let go. Such a letting go is vital for health. Number 5. Punish them, don't. Some parents spank or hit their babies. Almost one-third of 12-month-olds in the USA are spanked, according to recent research. This is very bad news. Corporal punishment might be an immediate release of frustration for the caregiver but, like most aggressive acts, it has long-term negative effects. Recall that babies are learning what life is about from the way they are treated and what they practice. Punishment has several obvious damaging effects. Please support me by subscribing to my channel. Please don't fail to subscribe.